right guys, I received a lot of requests for this over the years. Um, just want to break down the drug and me as you solo. So, right, we're obviously in, uh, we're in drop C tuning. Um, we're going to be over here. I like to use uh, my neck pickup just because it gets, gives you that um, more bassy video game vibe when you get the sweeps going, that you get that kind of low bloop. Right, so if I'm going to try and get that 80s hair metal kind of sound, I'm always going to flip over to my uh, bridge pickup. A slightly thinner sound there. But if I want like a, a thicker, um, more midi, mid-range, bassy, bass kind of heavy uh, sweep, I'm going to flip over to my um, my neck. So if you hear the difference in the sounds, so here's the, uh, here's the neck. I flip over to my bridge. Slightly thinner sound, right? So neck. Get the kind of bassier sound. Bridge. It's totally down to you. I just like to use my my neck pickup. All right, so here we go. So the first shape we're going to have is going to be a, uh, a D minor arpeggio. We're going to be starting from the A, um, which is our fifth there. So we're going to hammer first to pinky, 12 to uh, 17. We're going to pick down, 15, 14, 15, 13. And we're going to hammer on T17 and we're going to staccato it. So we're going to kill it off really abruptly. So we have this shape. So when it's sped up. Right, so we've got that kind of idea going on. Then we're going to go to a three string C major shape. We're going to go G, C, E, G. Same, same uh, staccato applies. Down, 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 hammer. 12, 13, 12 hammer. Right, and then we're going to do exactly the same thing down a whole step. So our intro is. Right, so after the, so after the first major shape, the C major shape, we're going to climb back up to a D, uh, D minor three string arpeggio shape. Um, we're just going to do the top half of the first shape, 14, 15, 13, hammer on 17. Back down to major again. Then this major shape, down a whole step. So if I were to play it all slowly together, then we got... Right, so up to speed. Right. So now we've got some bends, so we're going to go up to 18 on the high string. Full bend, bring it back down. 17, 15, 13. Okay, we're going to do that again a second time, but the rhythm is going to change slightly. So we go. Bend on 20, full step all the way up, all the way down. Then we're going to hop over to the G string. Now a lot of people miss this in covers I've seen, but we're going to slide up 17 to uh, 19. Hammer on 20. So we're actually hitting a note outside of the scale. Pulling off and sliding back. If you do it really, even though it's a note that's outside of the scale, um, if you do it really abruptly, it can give it a really cool slur sound. That's what we're going for here. You can also do it like this if you want. Just slide that ring finger up into that. Um, totally up to you which way you do it. I normally do the hammer on in this particular position. Um, so, so far we have. Give it a little bit of vibrato there. 
Okay, so now onto the uh, the long arpeggio section. So we're gonna have the same arpeggio shape that we had first, the five string minor shape. I'm gonna go all the way to the top. Pull off, down a three string. Now you can use your ring finger or your first finger for this um, on the G string. I, I normally, when I go really fast, I normally, for a five string, I normally use my middle and ring. Um, if I'm doing three strings, I use my first finger. I don't really know why, it's completely personal preference, but that's just why I do. Um, so we're gonna go. And then we're gonna hammer on, to, hammer on to 18 and pull off. All the way back up. Pull off to 12. And then that, that 12 is going to hammer on to 15. So you have like a C major shape here. Right now, here's where we're gonna tap. You can tap with your finger or your pick, totally up to you. I like to tap with my pick. Um, this is the way I hold my pick, two fingers on one side, thumb on the other. Um, and it just allows me to go into a tap in motion with the side of my pick, and then back into a sweep in motion. This is just a weird way to hold the pick. Um, you know, there's no right way or wrong way. Um, totally up to you how you do it. Um, so we've got this idea, so. 12, 15, 14, 12, 10, 12, hammer on 15. And then we're gonna tap on 20. Pull off. Up the three string major arpeggio shape. Tap on 22. So slowly. Okay, so that fast arpeggio part all together. Oh, sorry. Right, and then your taps are gonna remain the same, 18 to 20, but then your, your left hand's gonna hop down to a B flat major shape. Sorry, um, I know I'm saying B flat, technically it would be A, you know, A flat, because we're in C, uh, drop C, but, you know, that's just how I think of it, like, I, like as if I was in standard, but you know, whatever. I'm um, gonna go 13, 10, so we got. So all together. Back to the top. Then we're gonna hop down between 12 to nine and we're gonna do some three note per string diminished arpeggios here. So we're gonna go 12, nine, 11, 12, 12, uh, 11, nine. And that exact same shape, we're just gonna hop up a minor third. So up three threat, frets, side up. Gonna do four of those. It's exactly the same shape. You're just hopping up three uh, frets each time. So you're gonna start on 12, 15, 18, 21. End with a nice bend on the 20th fret. Give it some nice variety. Whole thing. And that does it. Guys, please make sure to go like, subscribe, leave me a comment, and uh, much love. Hope this helps some of you guys. Thank you so much.